What's going on? My name is Brandon Epstein. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I teach mental fitness training. Now, a part of mental fitness training is aligning your subconscious mind with what you want to create in the world. So today we're going to be talking about how to remove limiting beliefs around money and replace them with empowering beliefs that are actually going to push you towards your financial goals. So let's get right into it. First of all, I want to let you know, like, how am I qualified to talk about this? Well, I've actually done this in my own life. I had so many limiting beliefs around money. I believed that money was really hard to make. I believed that I wasn't worthy of making lots of money. I had a lot of terrible beliefs around money. And so I'm really just sharing this from my own experience and the experience that my clients have had around transmuting these limiting beliefs around money and turning them into empowering beliefs and watching as it transmutes the way you show up in the world because all this stuff just comes back to your subconscious mind. You have to understand that our conscious, rational mind really has very little power over the actions we take in the physical world. When you look at intrinsic motivation, what actually pushes you towards your goals and pushes you towards taking different positive actions, it all comes down to making sure you're subconsciously aligned. So as long as you believe on the subconscious level that you don't deserve to make lots of money or that you are a poor person or whatever limiting beliefs you have around money, you are going to stay stuck where you are. And the fact of the matter is that most of these beliefs come from our family, our immediate surroundings, when we're growing up, our environment. So if you come from a bloodline or family uh, where the family hasn't made lots of money, or maybe you've had negative experiences with money that have negatively impacted you and programmed you to believe money was bad, well, then you're not gonna be in alignment to create more financial abundance for yourself. So you gotta go back and change that. So here it is, I'm gonna give you the clear blueprint. Step number one, get clarity. What is financial abundance to you? Is it making $10,000 a month? Is it making $100,000 a month? Is it making a million dollars a year? What is that for you? Be realistic and it's not about comparing yourself to anyone and anyone else's lifestyle. It's really about deciding for yourself what would make me feel abundant? What kind of financial security would I need to feel safe, to feel like, okay, I'm good to pay my bills, I'm good to you know, do some recreation, I'm not stressed around money. So first of all, you gotta get out of your own way by not comparing yourself to other people, you know, comparing yourself to what you're seeing on your Instagram feed and being like, well, I need to be a billionaire. You probably don't to really live the financial life that you want, right? It's, it's probably a lot less money than you think. So step one is get clear on the exact amount of money that you want to make, whether it's within the next year, within the next five years, decide on a time frame and then say, I want to make a certain amount of money until then. And I want to warn anyone who's like, I want to make a hundred million dollars. I went to a Tony Robbins event like eight or nine years ago. And when I went, there was someone there who was struggling financially and they're like, I'm gonna make a hundred million dollars. And when you set a goal like that financially, it really disempowers you because your subconscious is automatically like, that's bullshit, like we have no way of getting there. So if you do wanna to get to a hundred million dollars of income or wealth overall, you can get there, but chunk it down. Start with a financial goal that really feels feasible to you, okay? So if you're making $50,000 a year right now, maybe the over the next year, you try to get to $75,000 or you try to get to $100,000 a year. So chunk it down and make it really clear and actionable for yourself. Now, once you know how much money you're trying to create, we can dig into the subconscious beliefs. So here's what this is gonna look like. I want you to get, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to get clear on the amount of money that you wanna create and the amount of money that you wanna have. And whew, take a few deep breaths. Feel into the energy of what it's like to have that much money. And now I want you to observe as the resistance comes up because it will. If you don't already have that much money, there's going to be some resistance where your subconscious says, no, 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 we're not that kind of person. We don't have that much money. So in that moment where the resistance arises, I want you to identify, what is that voice in my head saying? Is it saying, oh, I don't have enough time to make that much money, or no, I'm not that kind of person, or no, making money is too hard, I can't do that. Whatever that resistance is, whatever that voice is, I want you to identify and write down all those limiting beliefs that are coming up. So I believe I don't have enough time to make money. 
make more money, right? I believe I'm not worthy of making this much money. I believe I'm not smart enough to make this much money. Write down one by one all the, voice, all the voices in your head that are giving you those limiting beliefs around money. Now, once that's done and you completely whew, purged all that bullshit, because that's what it is. It's just subconscious beliefs that you had that have been programmed inside of you. You didn't choose them. So just identify them. Go through that ego death process of being like, yes, I have terrible beliefs around money and that's okay. Because if you don't do this first step, you cannot take the next step. So the first step is identify it, bring awareness. And then I want you to go back to each one of these limiting beliefs and I want you to transmute it into an empowering belief. So if you believe I don't have enough time to make lots of money, then you flip that and it would become, I believe I have more than enough time to make lots of money. If you believe I'm not smart enough to like make lots of money, you would transmute that into, I am more than intelligent enough to make lots of money. See how this works? So one by one, you transmute these. And what I like to do is take the old belief and I just label it old belief. And then underneath that, I write new belief and I write out that new one. Now, once you've completed this process of completely purging all the negative thoughts in your head that are telling you why you can't have it and you've flipped all of them and transmuted them into telling yourself why you can have what you want, the next step is just identifying that clear outcome goal that you have for your financial abundance, the amount of money that you want to create. And then just asking yourself, what else do I need to, to believe to be true to create this financial abundance? So now we're just stacking more beliefs on top of it. We've transmuted our old ones. And now we're just choosing new ones. So one for me I chose is I believe I deserve to make more money in less time. I want to have more time to spend with my family, doing recreation, lots of things like that. And I used to believe that I needed to spend more time working to make more money. So I just chose a belief. I believe I deserve to make more money in less time. And understand this, your beliefs are true to you. They don't have to be true for anyone else. They just have to be true for you because you choose them. So identify and choose the beliefs that you want to be true for you. Don't worry about being judged. Don't worry about what anyone else is going to say about your beliefs. You can just keep them for yourself. All right. And then identify what other beliefs you want to choose. It's like, I believe I'm a multimillionaire. It's a belief I have. I believe I'm rich. I have all these beliefs that align with me hitting my financial goals. So choose those, identify all of them. And then over the next week, I just want you to go through this process of repetition. So you're going to choose the beliefs that really stood out the most to you, that you really know that you need to embody to reach your financial goals. And I just want you to repeat them like a mantra. Say them all the time to yourself. Repeat them. You know, talk about them to yourself. Have that internal dialogue of, I believe I'm rich. I believe I'm a multimillionaire. Go through it over and over and over again. Because what you're doing is you're teaching the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind learns through repetition. So if you want your subconscious mind to push you towards your goals and taking the positive actions to get that money, you need to repeat over and over again what these new beliefs are. Now, in addition, there's a lot of different modalities you can use to really deeply ingrain these subconscious beliefs. Uh, there's a lot out there. One that I personally use as well is I like to record all my beliefs I'm choosing on an audio file and actually put some binaural beats behind it. I do this for all my one-on-one -on -one clients so they can actually incept those beliefs into the subconscious mind when they're waking up, when they're going to sleep. So you can do the same thing if you want to record yourself saying these beliefs, listen to them when you wake up every day and when you go to sleep. Now, if you'd like some additional support in making sure you ingrain these beliefs at a deep level, you got a few options. Number one, you can work with me one on one. You can submit uh, over on my website, mentalfitnesstraining.co. Number two, I have a course that's available that actually walks you through the process. Also, a mobile app. All of these different platforms or modalities basically do the same thing to get you to that end goal. And I also have a ebook that I wrote that's kind of like a workbook that walks you through the process as well. So I'll link all those up in the description below. Whatever works for you is beautiful. I want to make sure that you reach your financial goals. And I really hope that this was an awakening experience watching this video today and understanding that you just can't consciously think I want to make more money and have that magically happen. You got to get your subconscious mind on board and your subconscious mind learns through your belief systems. So you got to change your beliefs if you want to change your reality. So if you want to change your financial reality, you got to change your financial beliefs.
All right. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Brandon Epstein. Uh, you can also follow me. I'm giving tips like this on my Instagram, Brandon Epstein underscore, also linked up in the description below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Until then, be the thing.